Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because I'm doing a tutorial today and I haven't filmed a tutorial for you guys in so long. And so I'm super excited about this one because two new music videos came out. Selena Gomez and Ariana Grande. Ariana's was Love Me Harder and Selena was The Heart Wants What It Wants. And I've been waiting for both of these and I'm obsessed with both songs and I just cannot wait to do Selena's makeup. So we're gonna do Selena Gomez, The Heart Wants What It Wants today. If you haven't seen the video, you need to go see it. It's all in black and white, which is what I think is so cool about it because it's all about shading and it's all about um, light and dark and you can't actually tell what she's wearing on her face and there are no pictures of it that I found and so I'm gonna show you guys my interpretation of what she's wearing on her face so I don't know what the colors are I don't know she could be wearing orange eyeshadow we don't know but I'm gonna show you guys how I um, after watching this video quite a few times what I see her makeup being like and what I think that it, that it looks like underneath all the black and white filter alright so I am gonna prep my face with my elf poreless face primer just to make sure that all my makeup goes on smoothly and all that good stuff and if you see me looking over here every now and then, it's because I have the pictures up on my computer screen. Okay, the foundation that I'm going to be using is a new one I showed you guys in a haul video recently. It is the CoverGirl Olay Facelift. I think that this is going to give us the perfect satin finish that we want. I've tested this foundation out a few times and it works really well. So I'm going to use my Beauty Blender and just kind of dot that everywhere. And then just tap it out. And I'm just going to add a little more on my chin right where I have that friggin' ginormous pimple. And then down my neck, you can see that this is a little bit light for me. But it's just because I fake tanned. This actually was perfect for me a little bit ago. We're going to put bronzer on. I just really want to use this new foundation so I can show you guys what it looks like. Alright, I'm just going to brush through my brows here. And Selena's got really dark brows. You guys probably know if you've seen pictures of Selena Gomez. She generally has dark brows. And so I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Brunette. I'm just going to take the dark color on a MAC 266. And I just draw my guide through to the tip so I know exactly what shape that I want. And then I'm filling them in with a darker color. A little bit. Usually I use more of the lighter color, but because her brows are so dark, I'm going to use the darker color. Alright, so I envision that she is wearing a deep, dark, navy smoky eye and a vampy lip or a nude lip. So I'm going to show you both. But we are going to start with the navy smoky eye. So I'm using my e.l.f. smudge pot in Ocean Bound. This blue just to give us a good base to work with. And this is just like a real technique smudging brush. It's synthetic so it won't ruin the brush or stain the brush and it also won't absorb any of the product so it makes it easy to blend with. And again this doesn't have to be perfect so what I love about this video and her makeup in it is that her makeup, I mean she's crying in the video so her makeup is not perfect. We're going to take this under the lash line as well which I just think is awesome and really cool. Alright, now I'm going to take my MAC eyeshadow in contrast in a fluffy 217 brush and I'm going to start this in the outer third of the lid and kind of blend it upwards. And then go towards the middle, but don't go all the way to the crease. We want it to be a bit lighter there. And she does have like a sheen on her lid, so that's why I'm using a eyeshadow with a little bit of sparkle to it. And I'm kind of just taking this right in the crease and blending it outward as well because she kind of has the color going all the way around her eye. Now I'm going to take, um, what brush is this? C431, it's a Sigma brush. Or no, sorry, it's crown brush, I think. I don't actually know. And it's take a little bit of that contrast. And I'm just going to use this under my lash line in the outer third. And then kind of blend it in towards the middle a little bit. She kind of has color all around her eyes. Alright, this look needs to involve quite a bit of blending. So to have a fluffy blender brush, make sure that it's really clean. And you're just going to kind of take this right under the brow bone. And we just kind of want to blend all this. No lines, we want it to just really fade really nicely. 
So take your time with this. And then I'm going to take the tiniest bit of this cream concealer here and I'm just going to use this to define the brow just a little bit. So I'm kind of blending as I'm going. On a black eyeliner, the eyeliner for the tight line and the waterline, I'm going to use my Stila Smudge Stick in Stingray. And she's not wearing any fake lashes and she's not wearing any liner on her actual upper lash line just on the tight line and on the waterline. And Stingray is like one of my favorite waterliners. It's so, so good and it lasts for a really long time. The Stila Smudge Sticks are just super awesome if you've never used them before. And then I've recently become obsessed with this mascara. It is the Glam Eyes Mascara by Rimmel in Black. And it just has a really skinny wand, but it does a great job of making your lashes look big and separated which is exactly how her lashes look. They're not like super volu voluminous, they're just very long and separated. All right, now for concealer, I'm gonna use my CoverGirl The Deep Puffer. Um, it's, the, it's the Olay concealer, it's the new one with the foundation. And this again, this is good use of light and dark with the black and white because it's a little bit of a lighter concealer. I'm gonna put some, even though it's under eyes, I'm just gonna use it a little bit as a brightener. She definitely has a highlight down her nose, which we're going to do in a second too, but I'm just going to lighten it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender, the triangle side, just to blend that in. And then I'll go over it with the other side as well to make it look more natural since there's foundation on this side here. But just make sure you get right up under there. Blend it all out. For some contour, I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which is one of my favorites. And my Sigma, um, this number is rubbed off on this, you guys. I'm really sorry, but it's an angled brush. And you can see she has a shadow right here. So we're going to, that's of course where you can see that there is a darker shade. And Selena's got a more rounded face. Um, and I have a more oval face. So she does do a little bit more contouring. And then just kind of make that little C motion right down under the jawline and then up along the temple as well. Not too much but she's got a little shading right up there. And then I'm just going to take like a stippling brush here and just kind of blend it out just a little bit. Okay, then a hint of blush. I don't actually think she's wearing very much but I'm going to take a little bit of this Miss Chic. It's a matte color so she's not wearing any shimmer on her cheeks at all but this is um, by Clean Color. It's called Santa, oh no it's not. It's called Sun Baked and it's like a matte peachy shade. I'm just going to add a little bit and brush it right back towards the temples. Alright, she has got a little bit of a highlight down her nose, so I'm going to take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish um, in Soft and Gentle on my finger and just put this right down the center of my nose and right on the tip because she is highlighted there. I'm also going to put a little bit above my lips just to make them look a tiny bit fuller. And she's got a little highlight right above on her cupid bow. And then we're going to move on to lips. So we're going to do the nude lip first. And the first thing I'm going to do is take my City Color Cosmetics lipstick. And the shade that this is in is Latte. And it's super buttery and creamy. And it has a sheen, which you can tell in the video, her lips are really shiny. So that's kind of the overall look that, that I wanted to go with that all over and then I'm going to top it with a little bit more shimmer. This is my Essence lipstick and Look At Me and this has a little bit of shimmer and a little more taupe which I really like and I focus that right in the middle there. So this is the finished look with the nude lip. Okay now I'm going to take this one off and I want to show you guys how I, this is probably how I imagined it from the beginning when I first saw it. Mm, try to get some of that color on my lips. I'm going to be using two products again. These are both by NYX. First I'm going to use the Simply Vamp Lip Cream in Enamored, which is super dark, super amazing, and it has a little bit of a sheen that I hope the camera picks up. So I'm going to put this all over my lips. You guys are going to think this is so dark. Look at how dark that is. So, that is the 
enamored simply vamp and then I'm gonna use my NYX lip butter which is a brighter purple and this is in licorice and this is just gonna give us a little more color and a little more shine so we'll focus it right in the center and this is the look with the dark vampy lip So I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos. If you're interested in doing um, personal training, I'm offering group and personal training online so I can train you wherever you are. Click this video right here to find out all the details or the link in the description bar. Have an amazing day, you guys, and I will see you all next time. Bye.